Welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. We'll throw the green on this week's show at the El Paso County Raceway. That's where the 600 mile high regional series for micro sprints was going on. Young Colby Sokol was competing in the unrestricted feature event with his restricted 600 machine and doing one whale of a job of hanging right in there in the top five. That is until a mechanical issue ended his day early. Colby said he had fun and felt good about his performance. His crew chief, known as Big A, called Colby's performance amazing and said it was a strong foundation for the young man to build on for the rest of the 2019 season. Fellow race face driver Cassidy Hines was competing in that same event with her 600 micro sprint and she showed the other competitors she was in it to win it by leading every lap of her heat race to win by a quarter of a lap over the rest of the field. In the feature, she battled hard to a fifth place finish in her first ever 600 micro sprint feature race. As if that wasn't enough, this young speed driven lady was featured in the April May issue of the International Women's Motorsports Association magazine, making this a very special few days for Cassidy. The Midwest portion of the country has seen more than their share of rain and even snow over the past few weeks. So Jesse Love is perfecting the fine art of the sun dance because he just cannot get a race in in that part of the country. He's tried for two weeks straight to make his debut in the Keith Coons Racing 97K Midget with no feature races yet completed because, well, a dirt track can only hold so much water. He did manage to get a heat race in on Sunday, though, at the Jacksonville Speedway and showed top five speed in his Power Eye debut, but the feature was rained out. How did he describe his first time in the famed ride against some of the best open wheelers in the nation? Awesome! Fellow California racer Adam Lemke headed back to the East Coast to take his seat back in the Junior Motorsports late model at the newly re reopened Motor Mile Speedway in Virginia. He qualified 12th out of 28 cars in his first time ever at the track and got set for the two 50 lap features. He finished ninth in the first feature and started ninth in the second 50 lapper. He wound up with an eighth place finish in that race running right in the thick of the pack all race long. He'll join his race face compadre, Mini Tyrell, this Friday night at the Ace Speedway in Altamaha, North Carolina, for the Cars Tour's Race at Ace. Joey East proved that mountains can be molehills, if you just want them to be bad enough, as he started sixth in his 5150 Junior Late Model at the Madeira Speedway in California this weekend and actually lost his power steering early in the feature event he still managed to knock down a third place finish. Now, anyone who has ever tried to drive a race car without power steering for very long knows the type of physical effort that takes. And anyone who's seen Joey lately will understand the magnitude of that accomplishment for this young man. Good job, Joey. Jake Ballman started eighth in that same event. In only his third start in the car, Jake fought his way to a hard-won fifth-place finish. He'll see duty in his Legends car this weekend at the Bull Ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Jaden Walbridge was also in that Madeira event, and he gave it everything he had over the weekend in his junior late model, but unfortunately, mechanical problems got the best of him. He'll be back in action at the Bull Ring this weekend as well. And that will do it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. If you missed any of our previous episodes, no worries. You can catch up. Just go to raceface.tv on demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. Go out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend. I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.